Hello everyone, my name is Claire and I'm an information assistant here at Spawn Public Libraries. Um, I'm pleased to bring you a recorded version of our program, uh, What's New in Digital? So this is a series about all the digital resources we have here at VPL. And the whole series is gonna be recorded and posted on our YouTube channel. So it'll be convenient for you to watch the videos whenever you want, as many times as you want. Um, and for the first session today, we're gonna to be focusing on e-magazines. So uh, I'm gonna start with um, sharing my slides and I'll do that now and turn off my camera uh, in the meantime. Okay, so with the pandemic, we noticed that many customers are looking for ways to access content digitally. And thankfully we have uh, partners and uh, content providers that are interested in making more things available digitally as well. Um, so today we're going to focus on Hoopla Digital, which um, uh, specifically digital magazines, um, which allows you to enjoy reading magazines anytime, anywhere with a device connected to the internet. So I'll start with an overview of the platform and how to register, and then I'll demonstrate how to use um, Hoopla and some of the really cool features they have. So VPL has three programs you can use to access magazines. So there's Press Reader and Overdrive. You might be familiar with those. Those have been around for a while. And Hoopla is the newest one to have magazines. So we wanted to introduce that one to you today uh, and focus on the Binge Pass feature specifically. So what does Hoopla have to offer? There's a variety of current magazines to choose from, approximately 100 titles. They range in content for different ages and interests. Um, the interface is designed with mobile users in mind, so it's easy to access from a smartphone or an iPad. There's a listen feature, which I'm gonna go into more later, which um, allows you to listen to an article read aloud to you. So that's convenient if you wanna do something else to keep your hands free, or maybe you're reading on a device with a small screen like a phone. Um, for anyone new to Hoopla, usually their, their items, their adult collections are um, available immediately for instant streaming. So there's no waiting in line for other customers to return items, um, but there is a limit of 10 checkouts per month. So borrowers um, have to limit their checkouts to 10 per month with a binge pass. Uh, it's really great. You could check out an entire category of items such as magazines and you can have unlimited access for seven days with one borrow. Um, so you can think of it as borrowing a library or a collection instead of one item. The last thing I'll mention is that um, this uh, magazine content is provided through one of Hoopla's partners. So it will open a separate window when you borrow the magazine binge pass, but it's still connected through Hoopla. It's all through Hoopla. Okay, so that's the overview. So let's look at how to register. So to access the binge pass for magazines for the first time, you'll have to register for an account. Um, obviously everything, uh, this and everything is free uh, with a library membership. Um, starting from the web, from our website. So uh, vonpl.info or just, you can just also Google Vaughn Public Libraries. Um, you click on the downloads and digital page um, and then scroll down until you see Hoopla. Uh, I'm going to show you how to, how to do that later as well. Um, then you click on Hoopla and then get started to begin the registration process. Registration takes four steps. So first you click on let's go for step one, as you can see there on the slide. And then in the next step, you'll search for the name of the library. So in this case, you'll search for Vaughn Public Libraries in that search box there. Then you can select it, Vaughn Public Libraries when it comes up. Um, in step three, you have to enter in your library card details and PIN. Um, this is only when you're registering with Hoopla uh, at the beginning. Um, after that, you'll only use your uh, Hoopla login information, which will be an email address and password. 
So that's the last step is to enter an email address and create a password and confirm the password. So now that uh, your hypothetical registration is complete, you can log in from the Hoopla welcome page. Um, after you log in, you can um, enter, or after you hit login, sorry, you can enter the email address and password you created. Uh, you can see it's in the top right corner there. In the future, you can get to the login page by going through our VPL website or going straight to hoopladigital.com. So once again, that's hoopladigital.com. When you're signed in, um, you'll, you'll see a menu bar at the top. Just beside the search bar, you can click on uh, Browse uh, to see the categories of content available. So the last one on the list is Binge Passes. Um, Hoopla has four different binge passes available aside from the magazines, which we're focusing on today. Um, there's also the Great Courses Binge Pass. Um, there's the Curiosity Stream, which has fascinating documentaries and um, nonfiction series. And there's Hellosaurus, which has interactive content for children. So you might be familiar with that one. Um, if you click on the magazine's binge pass, you can learn a little more about it or borrow this collection um, when uh, so yeah, when you click on Magazine Binge Pass, you can just um, borrow it right there. You can see the it's circled on the screen there, or you can just learn more about what's involved with uh, borrowing a Binge Pass as well. So finding a title uh, that interests you is very easy. You can browse through the covers. Um, you can see that the arrow is circled. Um, or you can select a title from the drop-down list of all the magazines that are available. Um, and the best way to get to know the platform is really just to use it, to see it in action. So I'll give you a little demonstration, uh, demonstration now, um, and then you can see how it looks in action. So I'll stop sharing this and start Start sharing another window here. Okay, so um, on the VPL uh, homepage here, you can go to um, books and resources at the top there. And this is a drop down menu. So you can go in there and select downloads and digital. And then you can scroll down to Hoopla and you can select the icon here for Hoopla or you can select the title, which is hyperlinked. And then once here, you can um, log in. Um, I have my login already, so I'll pause share to uh, to add, to log in, and then I'll resume sharing. Okay, so once you're logged in, it looks like this, um, and you can find your way to the binge pass. So if we remember how to do that, we go up to the top here, and under browse, we can scroll, or sorry, we can uh, bring the cursor down to binge passes, and in there you can see the four types there are. So we're interested in magazine, so select that one. And because I already have, I've already borrowed this binge pass, um, it says play titles, but if I hadn't already borrowed it, it would say borrow there. So I select play titles in order to access the library of magazines. So this brings up the, the library. And so now we're connected to Hoopla's magazine partner. So as we mentioned, to find a title, you can definitely browse 
um, you can see that you can just sort of scroll across these, these covers here and browse that way or use the arrows. Or you can also scroll down the page and go to this uh, box here that says Select Title, and you can um, browse through the list of magazine titles. So for an example, we're going to find the magazine Taste of Home. So Taste of Home, there it is. OK, and then we're going to click on the cover of the magazine of the one that we're interested in. So we'll go in here. And as you can see, it's really, really nice graphics. It really feels like you're, you're holding the magazine in your hand. Um, and you can. Uh, uh, browse through the pages by clicking the arrows. So it's like you're flipping the page. And you can also swipe left and right if you're using a tablet or smartphone. Um, we can see on the left here that there's some navigation options. So we're going to go into that a little more detail with a little more detail later. Uh, so yeah, we're going to choose a different title um, to to look at some other features here. So we can close out of this one. We can go back to the list of titles, and we can uh, search for Design NYC. And once that comes up, we're going to go into this first one here. And so just like in Taste of Home, we saw that navigation panel on the left, but this one has more options. So it's great for to show you some of the options that you'll find on the, the Hoopla Magazine Binge Pass. So, um, so it's great if you're searching for something specific, you can use this search box and it'll search anywhere within this uh, magazine specifically for any of your search terms. If you go to library, that returns you to the magazine library. Um, then the thumb under thumbs, you, it'll bring up a thumbnail preview of every page in the magazine. Uh, contents brings up the table of contents for the magazine. Um, in most cases, if not all, um, all of the different articles will be hyperlinked. So you'll be able to click on one of the um, links and it will take you to that a section in the magazine from the table of contents. Um, Save My Place is great because it's like a bookmark. Uh, so when, you, when you're done reading, the next time you click on this title on the same device, the magazine will open to that specific page uh, if you use Save My Place. Download PDF is great. Um, it allows you to download the entire contents of the magazine as a PDF. Um, if you do, it opens in another window and it's great for offline viewing. It's not always available with every magazine title, so you have to kind of check it out and see whether it's available for each one. Mobile view, that's great if you're using a mobile device. Um, so it, uh, yeah, it brings up like the um, how like a more simplified view, so you can um, see everything easier on a mobile device. Uh, for text view, that one is it opens the magazine, but it's it's focused on each of the articles, so it looks like more like a blog or a website. So you get to see pictures, but you're looking at one article at a time instead of one magazine page at a time. Um, and the next main feature uh, I wanted to talk about is the listen feature. So uh, if we kind of go to the next couple pages here, we can see whether the headphones icon appears. We can see it here when we click on this headphones icon, it brings up the listen feature. So I don't know if you can hear that, but when you click on um, listen, uh, it 
there is uh, someone that reads the article to you. Um, so, and some of the time it's, it sounds very robotic. It sounds like a GPS or something like that. So there's obviously some technology involved there, but uh, there are some other options where it sounds more natural. Um, and it's great if you, you want to listen to some content and you want to leave your hands free or something like that. Um, so the article appears in text view um, like this, if you can see that. And you can uh, play and pause the, the audio of the person reading the article to you at the top there. So you really, so once, sorry, once you're in this text view, if you browse to other pages and the headphones icon disappears, then you know that that listen feature isn't available. Okay, so if we come out of there and we go back to the magazine here. So to make your viewing a little more comfortable, you can zoom in and out. So you can see at the bottom here, there's a magnifying glass with the plus sign. That lets you zoom in, and then the minus sign lets you zoom out. And then you can X out of that when you're done. And you can also put it in full screen, which is the, the arrows pointing away from each other in the top right corner. You can X out of that as well. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to show you is if we go back to the magazine library, um, if we're going to look at linked content briefly. So I'm going to look for another magazine here called Audio Files, or Audio File rather. And if we click on this uh, edition, brings it up and um, on the navigation menu, uh, we can see here that it has all of the features that we saw with Design NYC. Um, and if you start to click through the pages, you'll notice that um, there aren't any of the little headphones, you know, that which indicate the listen feature. Um, you can see there actually that the table of contents is hyperlinked, like a lot a lot of these magazines have that feature. Um, but yeah, we're not seeing the the headphones icon, and that's because with this magazine they have a special um, feature, which is that they've re um, they've created a podcast which goes along with the magazine, um, and so. There, there's a little podcast icon that appears um, when there's a link to that podcast page. So I'm going to go specifically to page 40 because I know that's where the podcast icon is. And there it is. You can see that's where you click to go to the podcast website and be able to listen to that podcast. Um, and then there's also um, an icon, a YouTube icon, which if you click on that, it will take you to a YouTube video that's associated with um, the content of the magazine here on this page. So yeah, those will open in another tab and you can explore more content um, that way. And that's a great feature of these digital magazines. They're able to incorporate linked content in a way that print magazines can't. Okay, so just as a review, I'm going to come out of here. We had our demonstration there. So borrowing a title. So just to review, you can get to the Hoopla login page either by going to hoopladigital.com or the library website. Once you borrow the binge pass and hit play titles, you can find a title by the cover and access it by clicking on it. Okay, and then navigation and features. So when the magazine content opens in a new window, you can use the navigation tools on the left-hand side to browse or search for something specific. 
So those are the ones we went through. And then to make your viewing easier, you can look for the zoom option where you can zoom in and out of the page. You could look for the listen feature where the article is, is read aloud to you, or you can jump to a specific page um, by putting in the number in that white box there at the top of the slide there. So now that we've gone over an overview of how to register for Hoopla and navigating through uh, the magazine binge pass, um, particularly the library and you know different features of magazines, I encourage you to go ahead and try it out for yourself. It's a great way to gain access to a lot of content all at once as opposed to waiting for someone to be to be done with an item, um, which can be the case with some of our other um, platforms and content providers. So Hoopla is great because it's instant access in this case. Um, if you have any questions, you can always contact us by phone, in person at the branch, or through the live chat feature on our website, which is vonpl.info. It's written on the slide there. And you can always just Google Vaughn Public Libraries. Um, that's our phone number if you want to give us a call. And please just come by or, or give us a call if you have any questions or any, uh, if you'd like it, any help with accessing this great feature from Hoopla. And yeah, so enjoy reading the magazines and thank you so much for watching today. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to turn on my video to say goodbye. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.